working on something else, my Fabex. So I decided to turn on the camera and have some fun and show you what I'm doing. So I'm making some little embellishments to go on my inside of my journals. And I will show you, I think I'm around the corners of these. I will show you my um, journals at a later day. But these are just some cute little um, embellishments I made using lace as a base and, and my book pages and different. Um, I um, pr printed these off of uh, as, uh, Etsy. At C Shop, I purchased these from, and they are so. I think they're from my porch. Yeah, they're from my porch prints. And um, these are from Calico Collage. Um, she's on Etsy also. So I decided to make some little, um, like embellishments to go on my journal pages. So super cute. So I am um, just collaging and you know you're familiar with collaging and I think I might just cut these corners off. I don't really like them square. I think they look better if I like cut them off like that. What you think? Yes, yes. So um, I made quite a bit of them. So. I said I wanted to turn the camera on this morning while I'm making more. So I want to make a smaller version of those. And I just want to use a smaller piece of lace about this size. So I will be making maybe two or three at a time. So I won't take up too much of your time this morning. And make sure they're on the right side. Make sure I'm in frame. So, let me get a little closer. Okay, so I have to make sure that, and you know me, I always, everything is already ready. I got these little vin vintage ladies, and I've already inked the edges, and I got these little um, vintage flowers, and I already inked the edges, so I'm just ready to go. Got my words back on um, book page in. I cut out some of them already ready here. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. So, I am ready. So, I, like I said, I always like to back my words. And I'm going to use black words today because I know they're going to stand out. So, what I'm going to use is just some glue. I'm going to cut out these um, vintage ladies that I, I um, glued already to this fabric. And I just want to tear them. Tear them off. So I can add them to the lace like this. And I need a backing. I think I need a backing, so we're gonna go with a little small piece of book page. Here's the book page, and we're gonna go with a little small little strip. And you know when you collage, you collage in three, so we're gonna do the, the lace, the fabric, and I might do a little bit of um, cheesecloth. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So these are the three elements or book page. And cheesecloth. And the vintage lady. And I did coffee dye the the um, cheesecloth a little. You can see it. So um, so the um key to doing collage is make sure you this just regular white 
blue. You can use this, or I might use this crafty PVA. Um, and all I'm doing, I'm just putting it on the um, on the picture because once I put it on the picture, everything will glue down behind her. All will glue down together when I put it on the. Um, put this one on this side. So, as you can see, and then I really wanted to use my buttons. I don't know whether I have my buttons in here. I might not have my buttons in here, but I did want to put but buttons. I don't think I have them in here, but instead of buttons, I probably could use bling. I really wanted to use buttons. I don't have my buttons in here. So all I have here is my bling. I love this one right here. I love this color right here. So let's see. Let's go ahead on and put the word on. So let's put, let me distress it a little bit. Let's put think on her. Let's put seek on her. Take this off a little bit. And let's put noble on this one. Cut these down just a little bit. So I'm going to put the words on, and then I'm going to put the bling on. So we're going to put think on her, and then when I add think, it will glue it down some more, as you can see. We'll glue that section down right there. Seek and noble on the last one. And then I will add the bling. And with the bling, I'm going to use my um, art glitter. I'm going to add my art glitter so these can go down a little better. So I hope everyone is doing well today. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope all is well. I pray the blessings of the Lord is upon you and your families. Because we know God is good all the time. And all the time God is good. So I'm going to put it here on the side. Hoping I'm in frame. And I need this glue to come out. Come on, glue. I need you to wake up this morning. I know it's early. Sorry for the shake. Sorry, sorry for my reach. But come on, I need you to come out. Need you to come out. Need you to come out. So let's put put that right there on the side. Good. Did it just move? Yes, it did. Uh-oh. So, you know what? Now I'm going to glue it. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac to glue it to this piece of lace. So, I glued everything down first. I glued the threes down first. And then, after I glued the threes down, come on I'm going to glue the whole thing down. And let me glue the whole thing down before I put that piece of bling on. Okay, now the bling. Okay, 
So, super cute. I could put some more glue over here on this. Cheesecloth. Okay, let's glue. Glue it down first. Okay, and let's add the bling on this side of her. Okay, so as you see what I'm doing, you get the gist. So, let me show you closer. How cute is that? And then this is seat. Super cute. And this is Think. Adorable. So, I'm going to add a different color this time. I have some blues. And whites. So, let me just put some music on. And this time, no, I think I like, I think I like, I'm going to stick to the um, same concept.
I've kind of switched it up on you all. This is some of my um, mixed media work that I did. I just took um, acrylic paint and just took brush strokes, dry brush, and this are, this is some of the um, um, mixed media. This is some of the pages that I did. The um, so I'm just going to use the front of this. I have another one I can do too because I have a lot of. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my own washi tape. This is some um, black cardstock that I made um, using my jelly print. So these are some jelly prints that I used on different types of old paper. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my own washi tape. So this is, like I say, this, um, this is um, cardstock. And this is deli paper. This is deli paper, and I have tons and tons of it. So what my, one of my friends made her own washi tape. And I said, well, I have a lot of jelly tape prints, and I have a lot of mixed media. So I am going to use up some of my um, double-sided. You have to have double-sided tape. So this is the double-sided tape that I have. A friend of mine, um sent me this is you can see it says 3m 200 mp whatever that means 3m and it's double sided one side you can see is this um you know like uh the sticky side both sides are sticky side so what i did i just used i used i cut them in different size strips and then i have this double sided that i purchased from amazon and um, these are the other little pieces that came from this. So what you do is you just take different sizes. So let's say I'm going to use this one. I like the way this one looks. So I'm going to turn it over on the wrong side. And I'm going to take a piece of this and apply it to... To this paper so I'm gonna take a piece of a strip so what I have to do I have to peel it off if my nails allow me to and I'm going to get the sticky side I need my other little tool over there so allow me to go get my tool oh I have it so you pull off this part that's not sticky oh come on you have to work you have to work better than that mm -mm, mm -mm. don't do that to me oh you're acting ugly that's not how it's supposed to do actually it's supposed see how this came off that did not come off good but i'm still going to use it and just apply it to the back let me try another one but see, that is not going to do right. You have to do right. And I don't know why it's not. Maybe I'm going to pull it. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Don't do like that. You see how it's like bubbling? It don't supposed to do that. I don't know whether it's doing that because it's old or what. But um let's put it down anyway. <sighs> You're acting ugly today. So let's just take a piece of this. Because this is gonna do better. And just put it down. And I think I have some of this that's wider too. This is doing better. I don't, I am so sad that my other double side is not acting right. So 
all you do is this is not acting right and I have a large one of these too but you're going to get the understanding so what I do is oh look how that is tearing what I do I get my um cutter I'm going to use this and I just go along side of that and this is a cutting mat that I already have it on, but you have to go sh in a straight line. In a straight line as you can go. Steady hand. And then when I'm done, you turn it over and you will have this. You will have that sticky. You will have your own um, washi tape. You just cut off the ends. Just cut off the ends like that. But see this, these are not going to do right because they didn't stick properly. But you take it and you just cut it like this. And then you will have your washi tape. You just cut the ends off like that. And you will have your own washi tape. You see that? But I have to find my other wide because this is not acting right. But you get the understanding. Look how cute. You have so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play the music and I'm just gonna have fun with this
This is another one. This is another one. But I'm not going to go through cutting them out. You just get the understanding of what you can do with your double-sided tape and your washi tape. Come, they, It really comes out so beautiful. So this is what... I'll finish cutting these up later. But this is what you come out with. You come out with some beautiful washi tape paper. And you could just take them and you could just put them in your journals. Just cut a piece off and just put it in your journal like this. Let me give you an example of this journal. This is my um, one of my journals. And this is my tea journal. So what you can do is just get find a page here like this. Find a matching um, washi tape. Cut it off. And then take it apart. It's the good easy part right here. It takes me forever. Oh my gosh. So you just take it apart. Peel it off. And you just tape it. Right here. See how nice that looks? And that's your washi tape. Beautiful, right? So this is all your washi tape that you have. So let me take you on a journey, on another journey of my um, journals that I made for the end of this year and the beginning of next year. So this is one of them. I made a total of seven all together, but let me just show you one at a time. This is one. How beautiful. And I, I believe I showed you the technique that I did with the um with the um wallpaper. This is wallpaper, and then I just did a collage of wallpapers. And I've added the signature already, just a three binding pamphlet stitch. I have to go back. I've already added the papers. I have to go back and put this in. But I've, uh, I added all different kinds of paper. I put a pocket here in the front. I have a pocket in the front. Uh oh, let me get in frame. Pocket here in the front, and you have a pocket in the back also. Okay. So, this got cardstock, got some mixed media, got some coffee dye. And got my other, um, I did this with full coloring, put some more um, papers in it. I got some um, pockets that I did with my um, embossing machine, envelope, some scrap paper. And this is basically it. This is going to probably go in my pocket, but it's supposed to go on. I'll show you because some of the things I had to cut because they were long. So here is a pocket like this. I can put all of this in my little pocket. But this here is a belly band. I can make it a belly band and just put all of this in my belly band. So that's what I plan to do with that. So um, basically that is all of them. I'm not going to show you all of them because I use the same type of paper in each one of them. This is the center where you can put little rhinestones or hearts or whatever you want to or you could just hide that and just glue this on this side and the top and the bottom and make it a tuck spot you know cut it out make it a tuck spot where you could put all your goodies in it this is the envelope that I made also you could put a lot of goodies in that you know just close it up but I will be decorating this I won't I will not leave it like this I will decorate it and with you know paper and then I will um and anytime you see me fold this over like this I probably would not just gonna cut that let me see I'll just cut that off because it's it's kind of short so I'll just cut it 
some of them I cut and some of them I um, fold them in to make them tuck spots. So that's what that's going to be because this is a writing booklet. Okay, so this, like I said, this is my, and see, like I had fold this in, either I can make this a tuck spot here or I can just leave it folded. But some of them that, you know, this is the other side of the envelope. I can add something to it. I can add washi to it or however I want to add to it. You know, however I want to do with that. So, this is my journals for the remaining part of the year and next year. I use almost the same type of um, wallpaper as you can see. Basically the same concept. This here, I probably glue together and make this a tough spot. This here, I'm gonna have to cut it off like I just did the other one. So I don't have to give you a flip through of each one of them, but I can show you the front and back because the designs are somewhat different. And this one here is going to be my Christmas one because you see the Christmas colors. This is going to be my December daily. So until next time, my fabettes, I hope I inspire you with a lot of different tricks and a lot of different ideas today. So be blessed and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye. God bless you. Good morning, my fabettes. This is my routine. I don't want to make you dizzy, but this is a lot of paper here, and I have some jelly prints also. And these are my journals that I am going to, um, I'm just going to get signatures now. So these are all of my papers here that I am going to go through and make signatures. These are class envelopes. It is just so much to choose from. And this is more paper here that I use to fill signatures. And this is all of my color paper here. So this is my routine to selecting signatures for my journals, okay? So I will be back to show you all of the signatures that I have decided to put together. I have seven journals all together. So it's going to be a busy day.